Where is the boss? Where is the boss? Edbel, what is the matter? Where is the boss? I said, what is the problem? I need to see him. There is trouble. Edbel. Huh? Edbel, what is the matter? There is something you should know. Edbel, count from one. To boss, there is no time. You heard me. I said, count from one to ten. Good. So tell me, what is it you want me to know? The facts for set up by the custom have arrested Daniel. What? When? And I when? think you should leave the country immediately. They arrested Daniel and then what? If Daniel should talk, boss, we are all in deep shit. And Daniel will not talk. Go back there. Make sure you know where they are taking Daniel to. Then report to me immediately. Are you hearing me? Right, boss. What do you have in mind? I think you should get into the next available flight and get out of this country fast. Caleb, look, I am not a coward that runs and hides under the bed just because I heard that war is coming. I am not! So, with what names? I would want to know all the people that are involved in this. I've told you, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, shut your mouth, you congenital liar. I am talking about the filthy container load of chemical waste, which you and your group imported into this country as raw materials, with the intention of dumping them here as waste. I told you, I need my lawyer. I, I don't know what... You your names, or rather fake names, are all in the papers. That was smart of you. But you fucked up along the line, Mr. Smart Guy! Do you think you can talk about 
Well, you know, you know how Daniel is. Anything can happen. Anything. And that is why I'm not leaving anything to chance. Damn. I wonder what happened now. No one was supposed to know. Perhaps Daniel did not do his job well. He slipped and they came after him. And who knows? Maybe they are looking for me as well by like now. In that case, what must be done, must be done. And must be done very well. And if I must remind you, you have a transfer fund from a foreign company into your account. And this transfer was made by the same company that produced the chemical waste, two of us. You can't prove it. Uh, uh, Shut your mouth, you lying bastard! Now you listen to me. You can lie very much you care. But not when copies of the correspondence and all the copies of the transfer are in our hands. You lousy no good son of a bitch! Shut! Officers, hack off him. Yes, sir. Yes, send him to the interpool because they would like to see him at the airport. <laughs> Richie, what is it? Have you been crying? It's finished. It's all gone. Everything. I, I have nothing left. It's all gone. What are you talking about? What's gone? Tell me, what is it? Huh? You, you remember the goods I told you I had? I had that in wolf. Do you remember? Yes. But the, the bank is worried over the loan. Is that it? Not just the bank. I, I took money from my friends too and I, I have imported the goods. They are the wolf at the moment, but customs impounded them because I could not pay for the clearance. Oh. My God. Oh, Richie, you invested so much on those goods now. A clearing agent tells me that I'm, I'm, I'm going to need two million naira to clear them. What? Where am I going to get that kind of money from? I've looked everywhere. I've... God. What's so hard? At this point now. Don't cry. Don't. Don't cry. I'm not going to be here with you. I'm not going to be here with you. I'm not going to be here with you. I'm not going to be here with you.
I was about to make this, but it's a proper part of the money that we need. How much? 1.5 million. I think we need to go back. That's exactly why I'm here. I couldn't. Why didn't you pay me to the bank? By the time the money came, the bank had closed and I'm traveling. I'm traveling too. First thing to go on. I don't know what place to do, sir. Are you sure the money is coming? amount of money from? Um, my stepfather's accountant brought it to the house and I, well they were going to pay it into the bank. Uh -huh. So I thought maybe I could borrow it. You, you borrowed it? I, he will notice. I, I just borrowed it. Look, look, baby, I, I really appreciate everything you're doing for me. I'm, I'm not sure I like this risk you're taking on my behalf. This is called stealing, you know? No, you know? Uh, no it's, it's not like that. It's not that bad. Um, look, okay, honey, you have the money now. You'll be able to get the goods out of the wharf, you know, make sales, make profit. Then we can pay my stepfather back. Don't worry, he won't be bothered. He's he's loaded. He has money in his account. I don't think he will need this one anytime soon. And okay, Richie, I just okay, wanted to okay. help. Okay. Um, okay. Here's what we we'll do. Um, I'll take the money. I'll get the goods out. I think I have a client that's waiting to take it immediately. Uh, as soon as he does that, I will, I will give him the money. But the question now is, how long do we have? Does he know the money is gone? I don't know. Okay, okay, no problem. We'll pay him back as soon as we can, as soon as possible. That's what we'll do. And then, um, let me see now. Okay, that, that's it. Um, and after that, um, <laughs> I'll go ahead and plan for our wedding. Really? I mean, what are we waiting for? After this deal, I mean, we should have more than enough to, to carry out the wedding, you know? The plans for everything. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> are you happy now? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, thank you, my girl. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you very much. I love you more. Kate! 
Kate. Yes, Kate. I borrowed it. I, I borrowed it to a friend. You borrowed my money to a friend? Uncle C, let me explain. See, his goods were seized at the wharf and they, 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 they said he had to bring two million to clear them. I promise you, he will pay you back. Once he makes sales, he will pay back in no time. You are a fool. You are a big fool. Get out of my house. Please. Get out of my house! And don't come back to this and don't give me my money! Father sent me out of the house. It's because of the money, right? He said I shouldn't come back without it. I knew this was going to happen. I saw it coming. Okay, look, I see what we do. Go back inside. I want to rush to the warehouse. Get all the goods out and sell them at low rates and bring the woman no, no, back, no, okay? No, 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 I, I don't want you to do anything drastic just for the money, okay? okay. Well, you need to go home. What about your home, your family? Well, I, I don't have a family. That's, I don't. I, my stepfather doesn't care about me. And my mother, she's powerless where he's concerned. I, I don't care. My only concern is for... The happiness of the man I'm, I'm going to marry. I don't care about any of this, okay? Just take your time. Okay, don't, don't rush it. Okay, see, we'll give him back his money anyway, okay? Don't worry about it. So let's go inside. Come on. Yeah. I don't like one bit. The one person I didn't ever expect to do this kind of a thing to me, okay? Don't you ever dare raise your voice on me again because of that girl from Amboku. It does not matter where she's from, okay? She's a human being. It does not matter one bit. Okay? It does, Rich. All you young men think about these days is to love this, love that. Or where you can take your girlfriend to, to go and buy her ice cream without even thinking about her family background. No, what do you realize what that girl has done for me? The risk she has taken, what she's going through presently, all because of me. She can fake anything to deceive you into marriage. But let me tell you, you are not marrying that girl as long as I am alive. Oh, Mama, I really don't care what you think. Okay? Believe me, I'm a man. I am not a kid anymore. And this point is clear. Kate and I love each other very, very much. Now, with or without you, we're going to get married, okay? I see. They have given you and you have eaten crap. I am not asleep,
I'm a little bit uneasy about this. I mean, my mind is not at rest. There is nothing to it, Grace. Richard is my son, and he listens to whatever I tell him. But what if I don't get pregnant? Mm. It has never been in your lineage. Except if you are not a woman. Grace, all I want you to do is to sleep with him and get pregnant. I have chosen you to be his wife. But I heard he's already living with a woman in his house. That girl. That unfortunate stranger. When you become pregnant, you will step into your husband's house and she will step out for you. Now, he is dead drunk. I want you to go into my room and change into a night girl. Don't forget. Do as I discussed with you. Come now. Let's go. Come on, my dear. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey, what? Good morning, honey. What's so good about the morning? Who are you? What do you mean? What do you mean? What? I remember coming in here last night and then I passed out. I don't remember coming home with you. What are you doing in my bed? After all you told me, after all your promises. You mean after all you, you said to me? What did I say to you? I don't even remember talking with you in the first place. Come to talk of saying things to you. Who are you? You told me you're going to marry me. Look, I was drunk last night. Okay? I must have said a whole lot of nonsense. But I, I can, how can you tell me all, the, all these things? What are you doing here? So you mean you were drunk last night? Of course I was drunk last night. And you deceived me into believing that you cared for me. Richard, why? 
Do I look like a prostitute? This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. I hope I'm going to wake up very soon. Look, you, you, know, you know what? You have to leave. Believe me, you have to leave. I don't want my mom coming in here and seeing all this nonsense. You have to leave. Please. Please, I'm begging the name of God. Leave you. Young girl, you came in with feeling so happy last night. Mama, I when is she coming back? Mama, she's not come back anywhere. I was drunk last night. Besides, I don't even know who she is. I've never met her in my life before. What do you mean, son, that you have never met Norbert's daughter? Wait. Wait, Mama, do you know her and her parents? Of course, yes, son. And I think she will make you a very good wife. You don't understand. My stepfather will come back. He knows this place now, and I know he will come back. I will give up him. Your business has been so bad. All the people are supplied goes to me. 
None of them want to be up. What to do? It's okay, I'm not asking you to pay the money. But it's because of the sacrifice you made for me that's bringing this daily stress. It's only a matter of time. Can we stand it? See if you have a for you. Maybe you should go somewhere else. <laughs> so where? Go somewhere else. Go. Maybe like Lagos. Go there and then just hang out with Angela for a while. At least your stepfather won't be able to find you there. No, no. I'm not leaving you here by yourself. No. no. Okay, okay. Come on, sit down. You need to leave town. I know what I'm doing. I'll give you more than enough money. Um, Angela can find yourself going to an apartment somewhere, furnish it, and you can stay down wait for me. In a short while, I'll join you and make our wedding plans from there. Hmm? I understand what you're saying, but I don't think relocating to Lagos is the best idea. I mean, considering your job. Noted. I've thought of that already. And um, what I want to do is to at least open another branch in Lagos and gradually move my stuff from here and there. It will work out. Just trust me on this one, okay? It's the best way at least your stepfather won't be able to find you. Please I trust me. just gave us some time. No, it's okay, please. Just trust me on this one. Everything's going to be fine, okay? Hmm? <laughs> for me. Well, let's talk fast. I would like to go out. It's been two months since you left. And now you are back. They didn't even ask for Grace. Grace? Who is Grace? You mean you don't know Grace anymore? Come on, Mom. If I remember, I'll tell you. Who's Grace? She a relative or something? <laughs> must be the latest joke of the year. You mean you don't remember Grace, no best daughter whom you got pregnant? Yes. Well, I sent for you so that we can start making arrangements on how to pay her bride price and her traditional marriage before her pregnancy becomes obvious. She's two months old now. Wait, wait. Hold it. Hold it right there. What are you trying to tell me? I tried to convince them. I tried to tell them how much we loved each other, but they wouldn't just bought you. Richie, Richie! Richie, five years! Five good years of my life we've been planning for this marriage! Five years has been promises after promises! Only for you to come here at the dying minute to tell me there's another! They imposed on me. I, I don't want her. I, I don't want her. But there's something about my, my position and tradition in the family. Did you know about tradition? What the way you were using me? Call me a fool. I never used you. I never saw you as a fool. Not for one day. It's your circumstances. I love you too much to... Then why? Why, why, why are you doing this? Why are you leaving me? Why, Richie, five years? Do you know how many men I have rejected for you? Do you have any idea? Do you? I'm so, I'm so. I didn't want you to end like this. You know I love you very much. I'm devastated myself. Don't do this to me now, please. You don't stop me! Stop, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'm, I'm sorry! Stop it! I'm sorry! Stop it! I'm sorry! Stop it! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You can't be this hard! I'm sorry!
What about him? Did anything happen to him? What happened? What happened to him? He dumped me. He dumped me. Not to push your own name because Richard wasn't man enough to keep his marriage promise. He left. I don't even know he left. He left me after all these years. 
not all that I have done for him. Let me And so what? Your money over a man that is not worth it. Okay, let me use my life. If my money broke off your house, you can take it. Let's stay in my husband or no husband. You're still a woman of pride. Too many men ask they are willing to have your own as a wife. How long do I have to wait? How much longer do I have to wait? If I find another man, I will call my own. And then I'm not getting any younger. That's not true. It has got nothing to do with this. You're still a pretty woman and you know that. There's somebody out there that will love you for you. No matter what the family says. All that has followed me all my life. Not even one shade. Stop that. this kid. In fact, we're going to go out for lunch today. Before I come back, I want you to get dressed. We're going out for lunch this afternoon. We're going to come back on time, okay? You are going. I'm not going to live in this house like this again. Stand up, kids. I have to leave this baby now. If I come out to be well dressed, to be a Just nice and easy, Rufus. Step out of the car. And I'll suggest you try not to be stupid, except you want to go home in a coffin. And you too, Caleb. Come out! Come out! Eric, what sort of game is this? I should be asking you. This way. Move it this way! And you too, Caleb. Come out! This way. Face me. Turn around! Turn around or I'll pull the trigger! I should be asking you what sort of game you were playing when you had Daniel shot in front of the custom agents. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have hands in Daniel's death. It seems to us you had him killed so that only you can keep the money paid in by the foreigner. You heard him, right? I guess your perfect excuse would have been to make sure that Daniel doesn't sing to the Interpol or the police. But I know Daniel too well. He's a trusted man, and I know he can never give away any of us. Therefore, when we heard he was shot in the midst of custom officers, we became suspicious. Listen to me, Rufus. I know the money is with you. We don't want any more of the shaky deals. Daniel is dead, and I want my money. Come on, Eric. Eric, why do you guys think of me as such a ruthless magician? Why? What makes you think I'm so invisible as to walk into customs net and then shoot down it? What makes you think so? Huh? Come on, look. Daniel was my friend. I loved him so much. But he died. I don't have hands in his death. What about the money? What money? The money, of course, is still in his account. No! You're a big liar, Rufus. Two weeks ago, when the money was released, Daniel told me in confidence that 80% of the money was paid into your account. So don't fucking lie to me. Stop playing smart with us, Rufus. We want our share of the money. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and search me. Search my car. If you want to get into the house and I can open it. If you want to go to my bank account, go ahead. But I can assure you, there's no money there. Come on, guys. Eric Williams. You heard him. He doesn't have the money. But I'll tell you what. Why don't we go dig up Daniel? You know, maybe he will tell us where this money is. Huh? I'll tell you something, boy. I sure know how to play this game real cool. I know how to play the game. I got my eyes on you both. I got my eyes on you. Turn your back. Turn your fucking back! Alright, alright, I'm clean. Step forward. Move it! Now put your hands in the air. I got my eyes on you, niggas. Listen, boss, I think this is the time for you to pick your wife and kid and get the fuck out of this country. Hey, Caleb, keep quiet, my friend. Keep quiet. I thought by now you must have grown. Look, I told you earlier, I'm not that kind of person that runs away just because he heard that war is coming. I cannot run. I run things in this very place, man. Things don't run me. My children, my wife could go, but I'm staying put here. They will run away from me. They can't run away. Let's get out of here, man. Hey, Eric. Hey, Eric. Hey, I guess I made myself clear. I said you should get parking. You have a flight to pick up this night. Is that a joke or what? It's not a joke. It's not a joke. I want you to take the kids to our hotel, I mean, um, holiday home in Cote d'Ivoire. I'll be joining you guys later. Oh, Rufus. But we just go back. I'm already complaining you made me overstay the last time. And the children hardly spent time with you. Lucy, just get moving. I have some things to take care of. I need space. Oh, Rufus. What is actually going on, Rufus? There is nothing going on. I just do what I have told you. I will explain to you on the phone. No! I need an explanation now. Today you want me here. Tomorrow you want me out of the country. The children don't have a steady life anymore and hardly could concentrate in Look, school. The children, they will cope with time. They will cope with time. They are just kids after uh, all. Then what about me? How come you act like you don't want me around? Woman, look, just do exactly as I said. <laughs> Go and start packing. I'm coming back to you. Rufus, okay, okay. Uh, what about next summer? Rufus. <laughs>
are you still doing? You know what? I'm going to take you a place you're really going to enjoy today, okay? A place you've never been to. At the end of the day, you'll be the one having all the fun. After all, you're the one getting married in a month's time. Why are you talking like this, kid? I need you to be strong, okay? I need you know you're going to be my maid of honor, remember? Yeah, but I wish I was the bride. Um, don't get me wrong, okay? It's not... Of course I'm happy for you. It's just I wish I had a man to call my own. And... A place to lay my head and call my own. Stop all this. Let's forget about all these weddings. Wait, everybody has a day. Okay, let's concentrate on how you're going to look good tonight. Okay, let's go. Let's go and put something to it. How are you doing? Something just happened, boss. I thought you should know. Abel is dead, isn't it? Ears to the ground. And I have an idea what Williams and Eric are capable of doing. Too bad. I knew Abel would not survive them. So if you know all this, why are we still hanging around? Why don't we just leave the country now? Because if I do, I will be running the rest of my life. You know, boss, Eric and Williams are no men that I would like to take chances with. Carla, these people are a bunch of nobodies. They are a bunch of nobodies. They don't have anything on us, can't you see? They are still even confused on where the money is. And of course, that is why they are still keeping distance from me. Then, I wouldn't want to be caught asleep while those two sneak around. Come on, Caleb, relax. Relax, you're a man. You're a man. Yeah? Just don't show any sign of panic. Act normal. That way, they will be more confused. And then when their defense is down, when they don't expect it, then we will hit them hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? I just can't wait. I can't just wait to lay my hands on those two. Caleb, why don't we um, just find some kinky place, somewhere classy? We can just relax this night. It's not for me to say, but I don't think your wife is too happy leaving. Leslie, Lucy has never been happy. Doing anything for me. 
Small. Like she wants to be in a place permanently. I guess what she needs or what she wants is a divorce. A divorce? You can say that again. But why? I must tell you that marriage was a flop from the day one in London. I don't know. If not that she got pregnant, I know by now she would have been long gone. She would have been long gone. But even if the divorce should be successful, what about your kids? My kids will be well taken care of, of course. Look, Caleb, I'm telling you, look, that woman was a mistake. That is not my, 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 my kind of a woman. I went to a club in London one night and I was drunk. Lucy was in sight. I took her home and the next thing was pregnancy. You know how it is now. Exactly the kind of a woman I would like to have around me. So I don't know why you decided to bring me out. Hey, hey. Maybe she's married. Or maybe she's engaged. Or better still, she's expecting. Or will you prefer an ice cream drink? Relax. It's not the end of the world anyway. Moreover, if one door closes, another opens, okay? It takes a very long time for another door to open. This is for you, madam. Please, we didn't order for this. Yeah, yes, I know. It's, it's from the young man over there. He says you can order for anything you wish. The bill is on him. But tell me, we don't want to. I mean, we can't take it ourselves. You can now go. Hello, ladies. Please, I'm sorry, intruding. I couldn't have noticed when you when you walked in. I thought out of respect and appreciation for recognizing such beauties, show recognition by sending that. You don't need it, we're fine, we can take care of um, So My name is Rufus. Rufus, an engineer with Kim World Ventures, and uh, over there is my operations manager. We came to ease up some stress. If you girls don't mind, um, just grant us the privilege of sitting with you. No, we would like to be left alone. It's all right. Um, if you don't mind, uh, may I get to know who your friend is? She's such a remarkable um, beauty. I'm Angela, and this is my friend Kit. In all honesty, we would like to be left alone. All right, no problem. Your privacy is mine to respect. But. Um, could you please do me a favor? You can order for whatever you want. It will be my honor to put the bill. Once more, it was nice meeting you. Thank you. Yes, Mata, try to impress. Well, he sounds gentle enough. Mm -hmm. You all sound that way at first. They played hard to get, right? <laughs> Caleb, man. To take a real close look at that lady to see the way to God took out 
time to carve and shape in her. <laughs> Damn, boy! The girl is so remarkable. Come on, Rufus. No, 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 I'm telling. No, 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 no. It's real. I understand, but you've seen them all. <laughs> but what kind of booty haven't you been with? <laughs> and look, this one is different. Different? I'm telling you, and uh, the way I'm seeing it, man, I think I'm in love. She's so remarkable. Hey, what? You can say that again. I said I'm in love. <laughs> oh, please, let me. <laughs> I want some I don't remember. The other night, at the restaurant, you and Kate. Oh, of course, it's you. Why is everything? I'm fine, fine. Nice shop you've got here. Yeah, thanks. And nice talk too. Thank you. So, um, what about Kate? She doesn't stay here with you as well? No, she has a beauty shop downtown. Is there anything you want? Oh yes, I would like to pick up some collections for my friend. Okay. Somebody very special to me. I want to make an impression with a surprise. Well, but I have new stock already. Why not take a look? Yeah, I think I like it. These as well. What size is this? Thirteen. Go for it. This as well. I guess that would be all. The lady you're getting on is sure she's really special. You will help me deliver it for me. Excuse me? It is for your friend, Kate. I want to use this medium to express my sincere feelings to her and also let you know that I did not come to play around. Well, I really appreciate all this for kids, but I don't think it's necessary. Well, I don't care if it is necessary or not. All I want to prove is that I truly love Kate. And I want to know her better than just seeing her at the restaurant. Well, you just met her. The issue of love all of a sudden. Don't you think it's a little bit... Shady. What is that your name again? Angela. Angela, I don't need a second guess to make up my mind concerning a girl as impressive, as well-defined as Kate. Well, I don't know what to say. You have to see Kate. You can say that again. Definitely, I would like to see her. Um, how much is my bill? I'm getting a call. Thank you. What did you say to him to make him pay for all this? Nothing. I hardly recognize Monty. He mentioned your name. Kate, I think he's in love with you. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I know better. I know exactly what he wants and I'm not in the mood. Come on, Kate. What do you mean, come on? Angela, I just got out of a very sore relationship. I don't think the best thing for me is to jump into another, especially with somebody I barely know. Well, virtually all the men you've gone out with are people you know. Uh -huh. So? And they end up breaking your heart. So, what are you saying in essence? You have to come out. Come out of your shell. Move on. If you don't like him, call off the relationship and move on to another level, Kate. You are missing the whole point. It's too early. It's too soon. I. I'm not ready. That's it. When I met my kids, and I wasn't ready for any relationship. But now, see, our wedding's by the corner. 
don't kill your chance. Because somebody that doesn't want to mess up. Okay? <sighs> Actually waiting for you to give you a ride home. That wasn't necessary. I can always take a cab, like I usually do. It's not necessary as well. You can as well ride in my own car instead of taking a car. Alright, if you insist. By the way, thanks for the items you sent. My pleasure. Oh, nice. to mend your heart. Somebody like Rufus. I really want to get married. It's okay. Thank you. And your friend Angela? She's fine also. Sure. 
I'm really grateful to her for bringing us together. You know? A point of correction. We are not together. Okay, there is you and then there is me. Well, Kate, I really wish you could stop seeing me as a stranger. But that is what you are. That's what you are and that's all you'll ever be. Because the last thing I need right now is somebody telling me to trust him and believe in him and then tomorrow... I'm sorry. Well, I can understand. I mean, I was once like you. I was once like What you. do you mean? I mean, I... I was once in love. So in love. But when I at least expected that the woman I loved dumped me in the cold and then got married to another man because I didn't have money. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for you, but nobody dumped me in the cold. Come on, it's so easy to see. It's so easy. Could you just tell me what you want from me and let me go, please? Is it, Kate, I, I've come to give you my love. I don't need it. I'm ready to give you everything you ever wanted. Okay. I'm ready to go the distance with you, Kate. I'm ready to give you everything that you've ever wanted in a relationship. I am not looking for a relationship, okay? Or an affair. Please don't go. Marry me, please. What? What did you say? Yes. I'm serious. Marry me. I would like to wake up every day of my life loving and caring for you. And you can walk away.
Look, how can you be taking alcohol? You're pregnant for crying out loud. As long as it's not your body, why are you complaining? Why would I complain? Look, it might not be my body, but it's my child. Our child you're carrying. Can't you be reasonable for once, Grace? You don't have to come home only to shout at me. What do I look like to you? A fool? Look, it might not be a fool. Why don't you just stop acting like one for crying out loud? What is the problem here? Can't you just be reasonable? We're talking about an unborn child. You know I don't have to listen to you. Excuse me. Okay, no, don't listen to me. You understand? I'm getting fed up with your nonsense. Now I don't care what my mother says, but this is where it ends. Get into your head. If you don't get to ask you, I believe me. Even that traditional head where the wound hold if I have my way. Then you can stick here and bring yourself to stupid. That's your fucking business. Whether you like it or not, this marriage is gonna hold. I don't care what you do. I'm... Yeah! My baby! Ah! Richard! Somebody help me! Yeah! That girl's an uncouth animal. A debate alcoholic. And anyway, I'm glad that whole arrangement is over. Let's not be drastic about the whole thing, son. Her family might think that you're sending her away is due to the miscarriage she has suffered in your house. Because that's the reason I'm sending her away. Am I hiding it? I'm not hiding it from anybody. She's trying to pull me down with that marriage. With the pregnancy. Well, she's no longer pregnant. That means she's not my responsibility anymore. This whole thing is over. But that's unfair, son. Supposing she's your sister. And moreover, she could still become pregnant again. She's not going to get pregnant in my house. That girl is the devil's advocate. I said this thing is over. Are you not reading my lips? She's lying down with that husband right now. And she's not my responsibility anymore. So I want you to find a way to get her out. You skim down to my house. So you better find a way and skim out of my house into her parents' house. Richard! I've told you my own mama. I've told Richard! You. Richard!
How could you be sleeping here with the front door open? I've been waiting for you here for the past five hours since you called. Have you heard anything from Eric and his gang? No. And that gets me worried. See, boss, you need to look out for the custom tax force and as well as the Interpol. Interpol? What have they to do with me? I think the customs call them in. You see, things are getting critical here, boss. And you need to spend more time around instead of you spending time with that girl. Hey, forget about the girl issue. Do you have anything more important to say? See, boss, we need to discuss this. We need to sort this out. I do not think this is the right time for you to bring a woman into your life. My business is doing well. I know what I'm doing. There's no need to worry yourself. There is every need to be worried. Our enemies are closing up on us and as well as government agents. You sent your wife out there abroad and here you are bringing another woman into your life at a time like this. But why? I never expected it. But she makes me feel what I've never felt in a long time. You see, this is a new thing they call companionship. I'm in love with this girl, Caleb, and I'm going to marry her. Yes, I am in love with her. For him? Good. Good. Good for you. Thank you. I wish you all the luck. But you watch your back as well. Just watch your back. Look, look at you. You've been everywhere. Everywhere in the open lately. I don't even know your whereabouts anymore. Caleb, you don't need to know my whereabouts. I will take care of myself. Hmm? Now, do me a favor. Go to the office and make sure that everything that needs to be cleared is cleared. Get back to me. Get on. Capish? You need me to come with you, boss. Caleb, it's not necessary. I have a date with Kate. And I guess by now, I'm keeping her waiting. Rufus cannot be in this house. He must be with a girl. Do you still have men watching him and the girl? Of course, yes. But of what use is that to us? We can't stay here. Why, why that bastard found us our money with that whore? Oh, yes. 
Everything is falling in place, Williams. Everything. Give him. Let him enjoy himself. Let him think we know nothing about the man. That when he feels he's on top of the moon with the girl, he will come for him. I wish I can lay my hands on the wife and the kid. For you. Well, what's for me? I told you I was gonna pep up your life. For good. All things about you are gonna pass away. For more beautiful and interesting things, you and your imagination. Come on. Just consider this as a token of my love. <laughs> hold okay. on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this for me? You can sit up again. <laughs> oh my god. It's not over yet. Wow. It's not over wow. yet. It's not over yet. What? Another surprise. What? What's that? What do you have to tell her? She has already said there's nothing more to it. It's, it's, I just want to see her and talk to her and explain what really happened. Richard, she's getting married soon. She's already engaged. And moreover, we're going to shop for her wedding gown soon. Look, I know I hurt her very badly. There's nothing I can do now. All, all I need to do is to see her one on one and explain things. You can't she, deny me that. She didn't be telling me or telling her either. Just go home. You're married. And she's getting married soon. So go home. Go and meet your family. Look, okay, um, can you do me a favor and give this to her, please? Sorry, I can't take it. Kate will not be happy by things. Look, you, you can't be her mouthpiece. Why are you treating me like this? I'm just asking for a favor. If I can't see her, at least let, I can send her gifts, right? Please, I can. I know, just give it.
What was I supposed to do? I tried to send him off, but he refused to go. What if Rufus runs into him someday? What do I say? Kids, it's not as if I'm encouraging him. I'm not. Well, you have to return it. I don't want to have anything to do with it or him. Who is it? What did you do? Give him my home address? No, I swear I didn't. You don't go upset with her, okay? I followed her when she left the boutique. That's how I found you. Well, turn around and find your way back out of here. The house. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Look, I, I can't take... Look, look, my knees are really sorry, okay? Please be me. I'm sorry. I know I really offended you. I hurt you. Forgive me. I did. Richard, stop! I can't. Get out of here before my fiance gets you. Please talk to me for me, okay? Please. I'm not taking this. Look, I know I'm really hungry. Richard, Richard, guess I have to call him over. You've already done enough damage already. Stand up, just go. Let me go, okay? Uh, sweetie, hello. Hi, it's me. I happen to have an intruder in this house who is refusing to leave me alone. I think you have to go now. Yeah, okay. okay, I'll go. I'll go. I don't want to cause any more trouble. I'll go. All right. I'll be waiting. Look, um, Kate, before I leave, I just wanted to say that I love you very much and I'm sorry for everything I did. I, you know, I love just never stops. No. Never stops. I'm sorry. Richard. What you should do. Find the deepest ocean, dive into it, and do me the favor of drowning while you're at it. They are what you people are talking about. My lawyer will once again make it clear to you people that my company's name has nothing to do with this document related to this waste. The same agent that clear your goods cleared those containers. The same time your goods arrived, with the same license and under the same authorization. Well, I am not a custom officer, neither am I a, a, a clearing agent. Hi. Sweetie, hi. What, what's going on here? Kate! Kate, what are you doing here now? Huh? What sort of question is that? I came to see you. I went to your office. Your secretary told me you were in the GM's office. So Did I give you permission to come to my office during working hours? Huh? Couldn't you have called? What's the meaning of that? Why are you being so hostile? How can you be shouting at me in front of people? Kate, go home, my friend. I will call, I will call you later. Huh? My friend, are you through? Said you let me call my lawyer. Mr. Rufus, we are not through yet. My men are going to search everywhere. After them, take it off. has nothing to do with it. 
Look, Rufus, I just want to be left alone, all right? Why? Why? Because you scared me, that's why. You looked like a total stranger in your office. It was almost like I didn't know who you were. In fact, it just occurred to me, I actually don't know anything about you now, do I? Okay. The most important thing is that I love you. Look, Rufus, you scared me there. You, you did. I mean, and those it men. It was just transferred aggression. From who? Come on, the government for giving those people the power to you know, abuse my privacy and, 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 and my prestige. I got angry. But I never meant to shout on you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Rufus, tell me. Exactly what kind of business are you into? But I thought I told you before. I'm into the importation of chemicals from Europe. Rufus, the, the, the scenario in that office looks like you were in... Come on. You were in trouble for something Please, illegal. Those people were just doing their job. I am genuine. All right? Okay. Look, I am a clean man. I'm lonely and, and, and I'm seriously looking for, forward to, to a wedding, okay? Okay? All right? Okay. Okay. If you really love me and you want to get married to me, Take me to where you live. You see, I am a lonely man. If you want us to go right now, I am ready. Let's go. That is why I want you by my side. I need you. of the country so that you can have time to run your silly affair with this boy. I beg your pardon. Rufus, who is this woman? The mother of his children and of course his wife, if you must know. You prostitute. Wife? Rufus, you're married? You're married? Kate is not the way it's sounding. It's not just that way, right? I will explain to you. Please, I will explain. My God. I don't believe this. You lied to me, Rufus. You lied to me. You're married.
Come, woman, you should have told me, you should have informed me before, before coming back to this country. What, what, what's all of this? Eh? Let me see you cover this one up, Rufus. All your games, Rufus. All your tricks. You are nothing but a shame to yourself and your children. You shut, shut up, my friend. I run my affairs the way I want it. I run my things. Do you hear me? I gave you an instruction to be in charge. Give you and your stupid instructions, Rufus. What do you take me for? A fool? I just caught you red-handed. You're not even human enough to apologize or hold up on your sin. Lucy. Look, I need a divorce. <laughs> As soon as possible. How 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 fast can you arrange it? No 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 no. Next week is too far. Please, I want it tomorrow evening. It is a red alert situation. All right, you know how it is now. Uh, so please don't fail me, oh. please. Yeah, uh, thank you. Hello. Yes? Who is this? I think you know who's talking, Rufus. Eric! Eric, man, consider yourself lucky, man, to have escaped with your life. And look, stop chasing me around, oh. You hear me? Not until you get me my money. Until you give me what belongs to me, I'll never forget that you messed up. <laughs> what money are you talking about? Look, I don't have your money. And you know it. 
Rufus. Why don't you stop playing the fool and stop being greedy over this? At least you know I have lost some of my men because of this money. Look, Elric, you are a loser. You've lost out. <laughs> right now I'm far away from you already, okay? You're wrong. Because you know why? I got your woman right here. What woman are you talking about? What woman? Well, her name happens to be Kate. Liar! You're a liar. I don't lie. Maybe I should make her scream a little so that you know I don't lie. You heard that? You hear her scream? Now listen to me, Rufus. The time now is 5.30 p.m. I'll give you till 9 p.m. for you to drop my money and pick your woman. You'll meet me at the old factory at the old railway road. If I see the police, she dies. If I don't see you, she dies. Hey, look, Eric. Look, Eric, let me tell you one thing. You can go ahead and kill her. She doesn't mean anything to me. Are you hearing me? So don't threaten me, my friend. Don't threaten me. <laughs> Looking at you. Go to hell, man. Go to hell. It's like your boyfriend doesn't give a damn about you. He said I should go ahead and arrest you. That he's not coming. No, he, he didn't mean that. He, he was only joking, please. Just give him some time. He'll give you anything you want. I know him, please. Please don't hurt me, please. He will come. Just give him time. Shut up. Do you read your Bible? Answer me! Good. Today, Things of the husband shall be visited upon the wife. Your boyfriend was supposed to be here at 9 p.m. And this is 9.25 and he is not here. It's like your boyfriend doesn't give a damn about you. He doesn't care about your life. And I don't care about your life either. Mm. Mm, please. He's just waiting. Shut up. <laughs> I want my money from him. Since he's not here, I'll take your life. Ah, yes, no, please, please, Shut up. Why don't you start saying your last prayers? <laughs> please, just say your last prayers. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, just let me go. I will get you the money myself. Shut up. Please, Shut up. Please, 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 up. Please,
Do you have any idea what you're talking about? My life was heavily threatened, all because of you. Come on, man. No wonder I'm still alive. Come on, Kate. Please. Come on, Kate. We're closing business now, please. Don't do this now. Don't do this now. Don't do this now. I'm sorry I had to walk into that misunderstanding with my partners now. Business partners, my foot. What sort of business are we talking about here? So this is what I'll go through if I get married to you? <laughs> Hell no, I'd rather stay single. Kate, look, Kate, look, wait, 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 wait. Things will change, all right? Things will change, please. I will change myself, all right? Look, I love you. I need you. Please don't go. Right? You love me, with a wife and two daughters on the side. Rufus, you lied to me. But why? Why? What have I done to you? I was going to divorce this woman, all right? I was going to do that, and of course, you were not going to know. I didn't see her. Look, her and I, we are over. What happens to the kids? The children, I'll keep them. God, you are so empty. I'm only glad I realized what a man you are before I got any deeper. Oh, dude, don't. Kate, don't do this to me. Please, don't go. Please don't go, right? Go. Think about what you're doing, please. All is in control, all right? Just don't do this. Go, don't okay? do this. Don't do this. Come on, let me take this back. Don't Leave do me this. alone here. Please. please. What, you, what are you trying to do? Take your keys. What are you trying to do, Dad? Take your keys. Ring. I don't want to have any part of it anymore. Okay. I'm done with you. Kate, you're doing this to me. Kate, you're doing this to me. Let me go. Don't go now, please. Thing is this, eh? Now I'm giving you 